Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video is going to deal with the calculation of type 1 probabilities uh, with respect to a standard normal distribution. Uh, and we define type type 1 probabilities uh, to be probabilities of the form uh, the probability of observing a z-score less than a particular positive value uh, and if we draw this uh, particular probability uh, with respect to a standard normal distribution the curve in this particular situation looks something like this uh, we have the standard normal curve uh, the standard normal curve is centered on zero the horizontal axis represents the z variable uh, and we're interested in probabilities of observing z scores less than a particular uh, value, a particular positive value. So the positive values are on the right hand side of zero here. Uh, so in this case let's call the positive value x1 and the areas that we're interested in is probabilities where the z score is less than x1 so we're interested in calculating areas to the left hand side of our positive value or in other words to calculate the area under the curve to the left hand side of x1. So as an example let's consider the calculation of the probability of observing a z-score less than 2.58. Okay so when we're presented with probabilities like this the first thing that we will do is we will draw the curve with the respective bounds placed on the curve so it's a z variable that we're interested in the standard normal variable so the curve is a bell-shaped curve it's centered on zero the horizontal axis represents the z-axis and our x value in this particular case is 2.58 and 2.58 is greater than zero so we'll just place that to the right hand side of zero and we have 2.58 is in here somewhere and we're interested in the probability of observing a z-score less than 2.58 so the question is can we tell what the area is to the left hand side of 2.58 which covers all of this area here Okay, so what we know is that when we go to the tables, the Z tables, uh, the Z tables that we're dealing with have uh, Z scores. Uh, the first uh, significant digit and the first decimal digit is listed down the first column. Uh, so we're interested in uh, 2.5e. So what we'll do is we'll go down to 2.50. And the second decimal digits are listed across uh, the first row in the tables. And the second decimal digit for this particular this particular bound is 8. So we're interested in 0 0.08. So when we look at our tables and we triangulate, uh, we end up with a value. And I'm just getting the tables here. So when we look up 2.5, so 2.5 is here. And the column 0 0.08 is here. So 2.50 is the value is the value 0 0.9951 so what we have here is that when we look up the tables this, this is 0 0.9951 now what that means is anytime we look up a value a positive value on the tables it always gives us the area to the left hand side of that positive value so what we know is that the area under the curve to the left of 2.5a is 0 0.9951 in other words, the probability of observing a z-score that's less than 2.5e is equal to 0 0.9951. Okay. Or another way to express that is that we have that the, the, the chances or the likelihood of observing a z-score that's less than 2.5e is you have a 99.51% chance of observing a z-score that's less than 25 8 okay that concludes this particular short video on how to calculate type 1 errors or type 1 probabilities they are probabilities where we have a positive bound and we're interested in calculating the area to the left hand side of that particular positive bound okay thank you